Can you guys go out of Bambi TV? So today we're we'll reacting with Juliana. Wait. Guys, today we're we'll reacting to an 80s have a life changing debate with a. Guys, I can't pronounce that, guys. You're gonna see it here, guys. Guys, let's get straight into this. One day I was speaking to a man. Very interesting discussion on an aircraft. Normally, you know, we travel quite a bit, so you get to meet people, and when they ask you, what do you do? Some, you know, you tell them, no, I, I'm a religious person. I try to, you know, teach people a little bit here and there, myself as well. So I was discussing with this man. He tells me, I'm an atheist. I said, okay, so what do you believe? Mm -hmm. He says, I believe when we die, we're just returned to nature. So I said, okay, when you die, what have you told those whom you leave behind to do? He says, I will be cremated. I will be cremated. So I had a beautiful discussion with him, explaining to him the damage and the harm of being cremated. He was not happy initially, but then he said, wow, you got me thinking. What did I tell him? I told him, brother, you see, we are buried. We are taught how to be buried from the time of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. We believe that you, we were created from soil. And the evidence for that is when we are returned to the soil, we decompose completely into the soil, such that the remnants, there is almost nil or nothing. Have you thought of it? This man says, but I'm going to be cremated. I said, now when you cremate a person, what are you doing? You are applying tremendous heat and tremendous pressure to your body. We will not talk right now about whether you can feel it or not, but I will tell you that will not return to the soil. The reason is it becomes ash. Ash and soil are two different things completely. If you were to be decomposed without tremendous heat and pressure, you will decompose within the soil. The minute you apply heat and pressure, you become ash. That ash, what happens to it? It does not return to the soil. In fact, it remains separated. I said, but the, the point I'd like to ask you is, how do you know that you're not going to feel when people are burning you. He says, because medicine tells us that you don't feel anymore. I said, what if someone has felt it and they could not come back to tell you that we felt it? He says, I'll see when I go. I said, it will be too late. No answer. I'll see when I go. It's too late because people are saying, okay, you're going to burn me. And I start saying, but you want the punishment already whilst you're still leaving the world, not even got to the life after, you know, the year after, so to speak, in the proper sense. And then he looks at me and he says, but you've got me thinking. And I told him something else. I said, okay, my brother, listen to me. Let's say, for example, what you are saying and what I am saying. Put it to the litmus test. If what you are saying is true, then when we die, we will just be decomposed and that's it. Everything is over. What is the possibility and probability of what I am saying to be true? Is there any probability? He says, no, no chance. I said, okay, when I die, if I was a good man who worshipped whoever made me, whoever made me, I call him Allah. I call him Allah, Allah the worshipped one. And I say he is one alone. No worship to be rendered to anyone besides Al Khaliq, besides the one who made me. I put my head on the ground for him. I render an act of worship for him. Whatever I do is for him. So if I were to worship my maker and say, Oh, you who made me have mercy on me. Oh, you whom I am going to return to when I die, have mercy on me. So that is my statement on one hand. And on your side, you do whatever you want and you're not prepared and whatever. When we die, if what you said was right, I did not lose anything because I would have just died and decomposed. This is just a statement to make people think. If what you said was right, I did not lose anything because I decomposed. But if what I have said was right, you have lost everything. It's a fact. So why don't you just come and adopt what I've said? Because even in that case, you will lose nothing. Amazing. So follow some rules, follow some regulations and continue to say, Oh, you whom I'm going to return to have mercy upon me the day I return to you. When you return to someone like you are saying, you may, there may be a probability according to them, but you would have lost everything if what I said was true. He said, well, I'm going to think about it and think about it seriously. He says, you are the first person who's made me shaky in what I believe. I said, you know what? That means you have not spoken to enough people because even a child will tell you that there is a maker.
Hmm. You got me thinking like hmm, interesting. Why do you think people want to burn themselves after they die? I think it's just a belief. Like yeah, no, no, no. I'm scared of death though. I mean they are dead, so I no, like I don't feel why we you want to burn yourself. Like what's the meaning like? I still don't get it. With Indians, it's a tradition they met, so it's like you following. Your, your father tells you in our tradition when we when we die, we are supposed to be cremated. Yeah, you just follow that tradition because you don't want to go against the rules and regulation of it. You understand? So you just go. But I think people don't really understand why they are cremated when they die. That's mm. the issue, yeah. They don't really understand. And I agree with what the, the man was saying. What if you feel it? Those who die, they, they, they can't come back and tell you because they are dead. But how do you feel it? They are, that's what... That's, what that's a problem. Man, what, he was like, what if they feel it? How would you know? Because the dead cannot come back and tell you. When I was being cremated, I felt it. That's where I actually understood the man. Okay, but I think true that, true that they are dead, they felt it. That's why maybe the maker uses other people to tell you. So let's say, actually the dead person who felt it will not be able to come and tell you. But your, the maker, he believed in, is letting someone you know, yeah. in a conversation told you, okay, this is what happens. The reason why some people also believe they have to be committed is there's, there's, there's no land anymore. In most countries mm. where you go there, there's no land. People are just dying. Like every every single day, someone dies. Where is the land? Because be, people are not really, the dead bodies are not really decomposed in the soil. So adding another one to it, you're going to dig out what that body and going to put in another one. Really seriously, the body is not really decomposed. So some people no, the, prefer, the body is actually decomposing, just that the casket. Yeah. Okay. Some people prefer them being cremated. With the ashes, their relatives can still keep the ashes. Sometimes to so keep the ashes after Indians, for instance, after one year, they just trade away. Mm. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's like memories. Oh. <laughs> and the the thing is as if it's 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 the yeah. person. It's the person in a form of ashes. So they keep it oh, okay. as, they keep it as memories. Hmm. But I think it's a tradition they grow into. Yeah, it's, it's like when you are born into something, you are growing up, your parents are teaching you this, your society is teaching you this. At a point it'd be hard for you to leave that tradition because yeah. that's what you grew into. It's like your parents, you grew up with your parents and then every day they teach you this, 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 this. Like that's what you will be in your system. And so most you must them, you like automatically believe in it. Yes. Yeah. Most of them when they go against I know Indians who have gone against that tradition. Like you see the Buddhists, they are not supposed to shave their distance. But most people get to America and they see that wow, I'm not actually being civilized. Why should I live like that? Yes. <laughs> So it is it's like they are going against their traditions in their villages. So it's like their their people also go against them. They're like, why is it that you're yeah. not following the traditions? Yeah. Why is it that you are not following anything you say? You understand? So some people don't really like it when they are being stigmatized. In their, <laughs> yeah. Especially when they are out of their society. Yes. So they, I, they, they, they just follow it. Let me just follow it. It's a tradition. Let me yeah. just do it. It won't add anything. But I feel we all believe that it's life after death. Exactly. Yes, we all believe. Guys, special like, share, subscribe our channel. See you next time, guys.